Hello everyone and welcome to another Poppy and Witchy show where we're still not opening blind packs today. Instead, we're doing another book haul. So, uh, today we took a ride out to the Woodlands to see a new bookstore that opened up six weeks ago, they said. And it's called Buy the Book and it's B-U-Y. So, of course, you have to buy the book because I just can't walk into a bookstore and not buy books, you know? Kind of how it goes. So I bought some books and then I bought some more books. <laughs> yes, I made two different purchases. So let me explain why after showing you some of these because the last book I show you from the first purchase will lead into the other purchase. So this is the first one I picked up. We have Brandon Sanderson's Dark One. Look at that artwork and it's unopened so it's new. So uh, my boyfriend got me onto Sanderson with uh, the Stormlight Archives. I finally, after three years, finally finished listening to The Way of Kings, which is the first in the Stormlight Archives. But I've also read his Rhythmatist, which is middle grade book. And uh, so I'm interested in reading his YA series now, but graphic novel. I love graphic novels at the moment, so I'm going to go there. Then I went into the children's section and I found this cute little book called Ghost Girl. Uh, this is from their chapter book section and it's, it's a really cute story. I also like, you know, larger print, so that works too. I picked up a book that's really popular on uh, Book Talk and Instagram lately and it's The Lost Apothecary. The Buy the Book store actually has a book club as well and they're going to be reading this one next month. So I may or may not join that, not sure. Uh, I stopped by the Van Books table and I picked up the Canterbury Tales, which is something that I used to teach when I was in Huntsville when I taught seniors. And we only taught parts of it because of some parts being what led it to being on the Van Books list, which this is actually something pretty cool. The uh, store will print out this little snippet of reasons why it's been banned. And then they actually put these on the end cap to encourage reading of banned books. Which leads to the second one I picked up because you guys know that I've been collecting the great illustrated classics. So we have Gulliver's Travels and again it was on the banned books list. So when I went to check out and I paid for my first order, my first uh, purchase of books, which were the ones that you just saw in this one, uh, I mentioned collecting these and she says, well did you see our other ones? And I was like, no I didn't. So she took me over to the children's section again because when you first walk in to the little children's corner, there's actually a wall that has some classic books on it that are great illustrated classics or other classic books. And so I, of course, had to go back. Then I had to pull up my Instagram account to see which ones I already had that a coworker gave me when she left to school. So <laughs> eat, sleep, read. That is actually really God, really good motto. Sorry, not really God, really good. Really good motto. So second purchase was actually cheaper than the first purchase, but I got more books. So let's dig into that first. Most of them are hardbacks, but I did pick up one paperback. We have The Time Machine. I had to go to my Instagram to see which ones I had. I don't know if I said that. I think I just did. Uh, we have Little Women. They did have Anne of Green Gables, but I already had that one. They also had Invisible Man by H.G. Wells, but I had that one. So we have Around the World in 80 Days. We have The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. And then with that one, we also have The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. We also have Heidi, which I remember reading this when I was younger, but I don't remember much about it. So it might be interesting to revisit that. And then of course, can't go wrong with Robin Hood. And so that is my book haul from today. And all that together was, let's see, the first one was about $60. The second purchase was about 30. And uh, if you're a teacher and you're in the Woodlands or Houston area and you visit the store, let them know that you're a teacher because you get 20% off, same with military. You get a discount every time you purchase there. And they do have a frequent buyer program as well to sign up for that's free. So I've signed up for that. And yeah, I think I got a really good haul of books and I have way too many books now. We need to order that bookshelf. 
And then we need to actually start reading some of these. I did uh, finish though listening to a couple of them that I have on audiobooks. So I'll read it and I'll listen to it on my way to work and back home from work. And then when I'm sitting at home, sometimes I'll read along with the audiobook. So that way I'm still reading physical copies too. So I did just knock out another three books. I'm up to uh, 30 books I've read so far just for 2022. So right now I'm currently averaging two books a week when my goal was at least one book a week. So we'll see if I can keep up that, that speed. <laughs> and with that being said, Poppy, it is time to say goodbye. So we wish y'all a magical day. See you on the next one.